In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly set up Telegram with N8N, the connection, and their AI agents so that you can create an AI assistant in Telegram. It works really well when you're on your phone. And I'm also going to show you how to properly process audio in case you want to talk to your AI assistant and also respond back with audio if you sent it audio or to reply back with text if you are actually typing to the agent. So it handles both situations. And there is a little trick to this because if you don't send the right type of audio, it's going to respond with audio like this, which will play. But you can see if you send an MP3 file, it's not a native file. It doesn't treat it as a native audio file. So it doesn't play properly when you respond back in your app. And what you really want it to look like is something more like this, where you see the audio waveform and you need to send a specific audio format in order for that to happen. So I already have a completed workflow that I'll step through and I'll show you each module as we go. But let's go ahead and jump into the first module here where you have to set up your credentials. And so what you'll find here is if you come here to set up your credentials, it's going to ask for an access token. And the way you get that is by actually going to Telegram and you're gonna search for bot father. I already have it right here, but if you come up to the search here, and type bot father. It's gonna pop right up, make sure it's got that little blue check mark there. I already have the menu open here, but if you type slash start, it's gonna give you all the different options. And so what you wanna do is you want to create a new bot. So we're gonna do slash new bot. It's gonna give you the option there. We can go ahead and click it. And then it wants to know what the name is. So I'll go ahead and type SGP AI assistant, and then I'll just put YouTube. Then it wants a username and we'll just go with SGP assist underscore YouTube. It looks like it needs to end in bot. So we'll go SGP assistant YouTube bot. There we go. Then it's going to actually give us that access token. So we can go ahead and copy that to our clipboard and then we can come back to our N8N connection and we can go ahead and add that in we can save it. And there we have the credentials saved. So now we have a connection here. I should be able to test this step. Then I should be able to jump back to Telegram. And again, most likely I would be conversing with my assistant on my phone, but I'm just setting it up here on the desktop. Click that. Now we're actually talking to the assistant. I can come up here and click start and I can type test. Jump back over to N8N here and we can see that that test has come through and it's giving us some different information that we're gonna be able to use throughout the rest of the automation. So that's pretty straightforward. Once you know how to actually get access to that key, it might not be intuitive. But the next thing I wanna show you is how do we actually process audio if I were to send audio to the bot instead of a text and then also respond in kind so that if I provide a message in text, it will respond in text. And then if I provide audio, it will respond with audio. Because if you imagine if we're driving and we want to ask a question to our AI agent, and we send audio, getting back text might be hard to read while we're driving, so it'd be nice to get that reply back with audio. So the first thing that my bot does do is to respond with a confirmation. And one thing I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna come over to the trigger here and I'm going to pin that particular input that I just got from the trigger here so that we can continue to use that same input throughout the automation. And then I'm just gonna go into each step here and show you how to handle this. And so now I'm gonna just change the credentials to the account that I just created. And here we have that input JSON from the trigger. And the first thing I usually do is just send a message back. You have to put in the chat ID from the input. And then I go ahead and just send a quick test message back. Give me a second. And so we can go ahead and test that jump back to the assistant, and then you can see it replied to that original thread. And we did that by using the reply to message ID right here. So then the next thing we need to do is we need to have a switch statement here that is going to pass in the text into the AI agent, or it's actually going to pass in the audio file so that we can download it and then transcribe it and then send that text in to the AI agent. So if we jump into the switch here, we'll see here that the routing rules are looking at that Telegram trigger and they are essentially looking for the file ID. So if there is no file ID, it's assuming that it's text. And then if there is a file ID, it's assuming it's audio. We should probably do some additional checks here to make sure that it's an audio file and not just a file. It could be an image or something else. 
but for simplicity here, we're just gonna assume that it is audio. So if I were to test this step here, you're gonna see that it's assuming that it's text and it's passing it directly to the agent. Inside the agent here, this is a really simple agent for this particular video, but what you can see here in the prompt is that we are sending in the text from a text message if it exists. Otherwise, we're going to send in the text from the audio transcription. So if I were to go ahead and test this, our agent was able to respond and that comes out to our switch. And then again, what we're doing in this switch here is again, we're just looking, was that telegram input a file or not? And if it was not, then we're going to respond with text. And if it was, then we're gonna respond with audio. So we can go ahead and test the switch. It's sending it to the reply with text path, and then we could reply with text. And that didn't come through because I didn't change the credentials. Move that quickly, test the step, jump back to our assistant. And now we have the output from our agent. So now what we need to do is simply come back to our Telegram trigger. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off that pin so we can get some new input. All right, so now let's test sending some audio. I'm just going to step through the automation. I'm gonna test just this first step here. I'm gonna jump back to my AI assistant and I'm gonna send in an audio message this time. Hey, could you help me come up with some YouTube ideas for N8N? Then we'll jump back to N8N and now we have that message coming through. And then this time I'll go ahead and just pin this in case we need to use it again. And if we look at that input, now what we're gonna see here is that we have that file ID. So as we step through, I'll go ahead and send the confirmation. We got that confirmation, give me a second. And then now when we send it through the switch, now it's gonna come down this path to download the audio. Let me go ahead and change the credentials to this test account we're using. And then I'll test this step here. I was able to download the file. And now what we're doing is we're sending that file into ChatGPT to be transcribed. It's a very simple connection, right? Like this, we just pass in the data file right here. And the operation is transcribe a recording. So now we'll go ahead and play that. And then it's gonna pass that text into the agent. And remember the way our prompt was set up is that we were either passing in the text from Telegram or we were passing in the text from the audio transcription. So now I'll go ahead and run this step here. We can take a look at the output. Absolutely, here are some YouTube content ideas around N8N. And so you can see here that it's passing in that audio transcription this time. So then here we have the switch statement again. Remember, it's just looking for that file ID. In this case, it's going to find it. So if we play this module here, it's gonna come down on this path. And then we're just using ChatGPT to generate audio. If I open up this module here, we're just generating audio with a standard model and we're passing in the text that is coming from the agent itself. And we just pick a voice. And now this is the important part. You need to use the response format Opus. That is what's going to allow us to have the native communication with our agent, which looks more like this versus if you're just trying to send an MP3 file, which is not gonna come across as a native message. It's not gonna play as if it's an audio message from somebody. So now if we jump back to N8N, we'll go ahead and generate the audio, generates that audio here. And then all we have to do is reply back to the bot. Let me change the credentials to the one we just set up. And then I'll go ahead and test that step. Then we can jump back to Telegram. And now we see that native message here where you can actually see the audio recording here. And then we can play that message. Sure, here are some ideas. 1-8-N beginner's tutorial to automate tasks with Gmail using N8N. Three, top five N8N workflow. Cool, and if you do wanna get your hands on these templates, make sure to jump into the No-Code Architects community. You'll find them in the automation vault. And there's a bunch of other courses here as well, like a business clarity course, as well as calls with me almost every single day. Hope to see you there. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one.